of Ndibo globally, under the auspices of Anyanye, has called on all the miscreants attacking the Igbos across Nigeria to desist from their evil provocation. This was made known at a press briefing organized by the executive of Anyanye to address the current attacks on Igbos since after the 25th February presidential election, mostly in Lagos State. Mr. John Paul Ezewaka, Vice President Anyanye, addressed of Anyanye has approved this following the first phase of the national elections in Nigeria. We commend Nigerians of all ethnic nationalities for coming out in mass to perform their civic duty. A special commendation goes to the youths who defy the expectations to make a bold statement that will remain a turning point in the Federation's democratic history. With an uncommon display of patriotism, by your massive approach to your civic obligation, you have changed Nigerian politics forever. In Lagos especially, Ndibo have been made the scapegoat of widespread rejection of a party and their candidate, leading to the disruption of Igbo businesses, destruction of our people's shops, properties, and willful damage and intimidation of voters. Leading even to grievous bodily harm, we have visited these sites, spoken to the victims, and have gathered incontrovertible evidence of the acts. Under the instruction of our people who we represent, we advise these miscreants to desist from their evil provocation. Let it be known that Ndibo, wherever they are found, should no longer be seen as defenseless or a people without the protections which the law provides. Also addressing the issue on a global news platform, SSME, Chimeze Neka, woman leader Anyanyi. Igbo unity. And we also, um, like we are doing now, look out for our brethren wherever we are. We show love to them. We care for them in times like this. Anytime we see ourselves being intimidated, we say um, in our language, on Rube, one number also. So, Darani, Anyani is not a political movement, it's not a political organization, but an organization geared towards the betterment of um, the Igbo race. In the elections just concluded. But we also noticed that the electoral umpire reneged in their technological promise to the people. But one thing we know is that reality is like a buried truth. One day it will rise again. We commend the parties that have decided to seek the provisions of the law concerning it, we are only appealing to judicial officers to honor the ethics of their, and the, the ethics and oaths of their office in taking decisions, in looking at what is presented to them. Because Nigerians still understand where they went to, who they voted for. We are only appealing for equity, fairness, and justice. The group called on the attention of federal government to this happening across Nigeria. At the same time, reassure Ndibo in Lagos and nationwide that their right to vote the candidate of their choice is sacrosanct and should not be intimidated.